support pro play games on Patreon. Hey guys, Andrew and Frank back here with round five of the DBS Fest. Uh, we currently have two killer competitors here in a Sublet and Butters uh, going out. Sublet's on Red U7 Goku and, and Butters is on his tried and true uh, King Cold. Um, so let's see what this is going to come down to. I'm Here's excited those. here. I'm we're excited. Ready. All right, we're ready. We're ready, guys. Let's go. Two players who are very familiar with the playstyle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the playstyle. Obviously, green on butters is... That's his bread and butters. <laughs> and there we go. That's his man. literal bread Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not work on that pun. That came out of nowhere. I want to apologize <laughs> to everybody. Yeah. So, Gohan picking up... I'm trying to see that card. Oh, is that the counterplay Goku? That is the counterplay Goku, yeah. Right, yeah, that 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 card was maybe my favorite card on that whole deck. I don't know. It is kind of disgusting. Yeah, Uh, one mana, nineteen k body. I think it doesn't have to be an. Okay, so oh, he knows two journey unisons. Like he really wants that unison because like that unison can actually hit other unisons, and he's him going first. No, it's just if he establishes a weak in turn two uh, because he needs seven. He has a one right now. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Uh, but maybe he doesn't want to awaken until turn three. He's going first. Anyway. Yeah, you want to awaken as soon as you can, and then wait. Why didn't he play that card? Oh, that doesn't need sparking. Oh no, because to... that, that he bursts three first, and then he draws yeah, but... and discards. So oh, I understand. Play... Oh, that's that okay. that one off. It was off the this card. I got hand, you. Yeah. So it won't trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was one of the ones he milled. So yeah, that Jiren. What we were just talking about the Goku Connor play. The Goku Connor play attached to that Jiren Unison can KO a secret rare or neg it, I guess. I believe if you choose the right windows and use Videl as well, you yeah. can neg twenty for Videl because she's it's an auto, not a. Uh, she doesn't neg off the counter play window, and uh, you activate the Goku on top of the Videl on top of the Jiren. It's deadly. You can you can have a crazy defensive turn just with one energy, and you're getting you know two cards on board, one nineteen, one a ten k. Granted, but it's a great play defensively. It's a great play. It's a great play. I agree. Um, I believe their records, someone had asked, are undefeated, I think, both players uh, going into round five. I believe they're both 4-0, if you want to double-check that on the app. Um, but I believe they were at the top tables. Um, if not, they're X1, um, but I think undefeated. So here... Uh, oh, well, how's our audio, guys? Let us know. Yeah. Can you guys hear us? Let us know if you can hear us. Let us know if any... Let me see on the chat. Everybody put it on the chat if you can hear us. It looks like the microphone's working, so it's a little low. Oh, it's a little low? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how to adjust that super. I do, but it's all the way to the top, yeah. Okay, it's as high. Let's get closer, yep. Yeah, we'll just get closer. We'll talk a little louder. Uh, <clears throat> Sublid draws too good. Well, he didn't mill good. Oh, I'm a little low. Yeah, I think I'm talking a little low because I don't want them to hear me, but uh, I'll... I'll uh, I'll use my Cuban. Yeah. Time. Also, I've been yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> also, I've been warned because I'm a very loud player. I've been yelling at the players all day, which is uh, not okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to scream out yeah, the lines, yeah. right? Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but uh, we got a sublet going into his turn two. He's starting off. He did mill, I think, pretty well because he needs five for that one, yes. right? So he's able to get that off. Get off the berry blue. Berry blue is an engine Man. for the King Cold deck. With it being on board, uh, they're just going to generate too much advantage. So he needs to get rid of that, and he was able to. Yeah. We are being heard on the chat. And for those of you with the ooze, <laughs> the monkey ooze. And by the way, speaking of value, speaking of ooze, that, Vig- that Frieza, one drop, like for one energy, you get so much. I like uh, to think of it as Red's Basil for this deck, right? Yeah. So it's Basil. Um, yeah. You know, instead of um, drawing a card, it basically kills a card coming in. Exactly. If you get something yeah. minus 10, you can pretty much swing with it, into it, and it's dead. That's so funny you say that. I've been saying that Basil should be a red card for the longest time. Right. It, it, just, it should be a red card. Nah, you know, some, uh, some good offense. Okay, how much does yellow need, <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> hey, I'm a big fan of yellow. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm so we can hear first. Uh, the card Andrew's going to design is a one-drop <laughs> victory strike triple attack. Common for yellow. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have um, Butters going into his unison here, which is a pretty standard line of play for King Cold. He wants to yeah. wake in turn two, establish that big fat hand yeah. size, get his counter plays, his counters ready, um, and then really start controlling you. I think a great card in this matchup for Butters is the cooler counter play. 
because most of the Red U7 uh, battle cards that they can play early are four or less. Yes. And if they uh, try to play that, you counter mm -hmm. it, and you also get them to discard a card. So that card has been getting a lot stronger with this uh, this meta, and specifically into this matchup. And I would expect that he's going to leave up at least one of those, plus a Frieza counterplay, just to really nullify his opponent's turn. Now, Sublet being a little bit uh, proactive and playing around that by keeping his Frieza in active mode, now, I think yeah. he's going to force him to negate here because now he can take markers off that unison and possibly take it out. Um, uh, also, as a response, I'm sure Sublet has to conserve wisely his um his Vegeta counterplays. Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, the Vegeta counterplays are going to be very big in this matchup. They don't hit the eight drops, but that's fine because they do deal with the smaller guys. So you're not taking pressure from them. Um, so he's starting again with the mill. Okay. Now, I wonder if he has another unison here. Okay, he's going to cool Itzakai. I wonder if he's going to fire that off this turn just to punish any counterplays if he wants to get aggressive here. Huh. That, I think that would he be might... an interesting line, yeah. huh? I think, personally, I would start by swinging at the unison with my Frieza before anything yeah, happens, just, just to, to see what's going on. There's right. no real punishment that I can think of. If your opponent dormants, Koizakai doesn't prevent that anyways. Right. And if they dormant, Koizakai is pretty null, mm -hmm. right? You would have used it for no reason. So let's see how he proceeds with this turn. You at least want to keep the unison under four markers, if possible. Yeah, you just want to eliminate it completely because it represents an energy for the opponent. Yeah. Um, each time they get to play a counter, right? uh, uh, a field spell for free, mm -hmm. it's very positive for them. So let's see how he decides to go about this turn. And like you said, he milled two unisons early, so that would be your ideal turn yeah. three here. Uh, it's also interesting yeah. that that's the unison he kept for this matchup. Yeah. Okay, so he's able to take a marker off the unison here. That's pretty yeah. nice. And let's see how he continues. He can just do it again. And now he's going in with the leader. For the leader yeah. I wonder what he's going to use his energy on. Okay. Um, it gets negated. Doesn't matter. I think about King Cold, it does come with, like, basically three negates. Uh, so he doesn't seem to want to play put this in rest mode, but... Getting that unison down to one marker really opens up your turn here. Looks like Devin is Butters is protecting it, not letting that go down. He wants to be able to counter whatever comes down here. I think at this point, maybe a time to fire off the Koitsukai if you want yeah. to play a battle card, because now you're kind of like, okay, this Need guy wants to one up, yeah. Yeah, this guy wants to freeze a counter play me. This guy wants to do a little something. Ooh, but not not against that. Okay. So they search just for, yeah, super this combo. Is, I guess he doesn't yeah. really care about the one draw because that's not an attacker. That's not a card that right. can develop pressure. It's just a value card. Yeah. Um. So he's like, okay, that resolves. Uh, let's save it for the threats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would also still trigger anyway because it's hitting the board. Yeah, of course, of course. There's no real reason to, to counterplay that. I like that people are playing that card, though, in this deck just to search for the two drop. I mean, just probably super combo and yeah. a two drop unison. No, it just but searches not most of the deck. It searches Frieza, it searches your super combo, it searches right. the Android, exactly. it searches itself, I believe. Mm -hmm. So you have and the super combo, yeah. So he's searching the Android 17, an amazing card. Um, oh, yeah, the value I think, I think Frieza and Android 17 are the wombo combo of that deck, applying that small pressure for one energy. Yep. Getting that early advantage on your opponent without losing too much on your end, not committing too much. Still yet, okay. So he's getting cooler like here. Your so I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't decide to do the Koitsukai after seeing how this turn comes right. to playing out. He probably doesn't want to top out for the next yeah. turn. We'll see but if he, he has, has a counterplay. He's awakened. Yeah. He has awakened as so, well. Right. Oh, okay. Right. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets on top one, draw one. So he's going to get got here. He's going to get got here real good. So that's going to counterplay that guy. Uh, and he's going to yeah, respond with the, oh, the Goku. I wonder if Butters is going to respond with the Frieza here. Huh. He's going to discard a card. Okay, okay. So let's see what's going on here. Looks like he's electing not to respond with the Frieza. Yeah. Sublet's going for the Awaken. He's going to draw one off the leader. Now he has one energy to do three. something with it. Okay, we're seeing uh, some, I think, an 8-drop mill there. Nothing too crazy. And then he's taking another marker off that unison. 
And is he able to finish it off here, I wonder? Seeing in the comments, I think he drew the SCR. That'd oh, be nice to see. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's going to be a tough card for Green to deal with in general. There's nothing you can do, honestly. Yeah. yeah. No, there are. At least on a play. Points. At least on um, the actual no play. No counter plays, I believe. Yeah. Available to them, um, I think. The card pool is so big now. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you have like five energy to counter with, I'm sure there's a card. He definitely, has counter, he definitely has counter attacks. Yeah. Counter yeah. Attacks oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. He's just a king and plays Kakunza. Yeah. <laughs> just hides it in. You got to. <laughs> but now you just die to that card. You need to be able to kill it, you know? Force them to at least just pop it immediately. Or else not get much value out of it. And this is what I like about red right now, especially with the UI go, because he goes so cheap that you can at any point just put pump the brakes, keep your energy up, which you may not need because your life is so high that just after image is such a good card in your deck. You can use it high in life because of how much you burst early on. Yeah. And then on the backdrop, you still have the clone negates, which are like the one of the best negates in the game, period. And yeah. you also have free negates. I mean, he doesn't have a established unison right now, but I mean, it would get even worse if he had yeah. a Viren or a Piccolo or... Yeah, you, there's much more to play around when the Unison's yeah. in play. You know, the Dell counterplay has been seeing a lot of competitive play. And after Dante, image yeah. is pretty good. That gives it minus 10 for the turn. Mm -hmm. So it's really not going to be able to apply much pressure anymore. And still gives you a combo step, which is underrated. Sometimes yes. you do want to use that, yeah. Yes, and I think it seems like Butter's game plan here is to go for life. I feel like yeah. he thinks he's he's not winning the late game against this deck, and it's at 6 life, so he's got yes. he's got to get a move on here. Um, because I also not... wonder what type of build. Like, I wonder if he's playing Divine Presence on the red build. I like Divine Presence. I just yeah. think it's such a good card. It's so hard for some decks to interact yeah. with. Um, and a lot of the same things that answer your big eight drops or secret mm -hmm. rares have to be used on Divine Presence. Yeah. So you don't get too far behind. And it's not, you know, four mana committal. It's right. two mana committal. So it's, yeah. a good, it's a great setup card for the deck, pushing that damage. Okay. On, here, on tap here, one leader. Overall. I wonder if he has a counterplay here. We're all uh, fighting against me. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Yes. I also Mr. wonder Fat. if Butters is playing the Golden Frieza, which one of my probably my favorite card in this deck, and uh, the oh, dual sure. attack twenty k sure. as well. Yeah. I believe there's one in his energy actually. Oh, is it really okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 the far card in his energy. Yeah. Oh, absolute I see. Must. Yep. Absolute must in this deck. Um, I wonder what secret where he's playing actually. That's For green or both, he has so many options. So many options, yeah. right? Is he playing the Kai Seeker Rare? Is he playing... The, the, uh, you could play the, the, the Majin Blue. He could be a That's the one I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, oh, the, the, the Kabito the, Kai. The Kai, Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Kai there's multiple Kai. Kais. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is another thing against me. He's aggressively taking his life here. Yeah. It's very interesting. Um, this still fits in K attack, so... So the second one going for the leader. Yep. Now that it sees that the hand is a little lower. Well, yeah, because no longer, uh, both of the battle cards in play are 19k, so yeah, 15k, right. just not. And he's leaving up three energy here, really presenting... Oh, wait, the Neg is for the turn on After Image? Hmm? I thought it was for the battle, After Image. Uh, no, I believe it's the turn oh, okay. on After Image. You get the plus 40k for the battle. I know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And okay, I believe great. the minus 10 is for the turn. Uh, now we're going into four energy, which you can do so much with four energy at this point. But you can play Unison... If you think you can, you can get him. I like to see how many cards he has on his drop. What did he charge? He might have charged the unison. Maybe he's off that game plan. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It looks like he charged Viren. Butters does have three energy up. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's three energy to stop the. Big oh yeah. Players for sure. But Sublet knows that. Yeah. He understands. I think he's gonna. He's gonna try he's and go to the ground. Right. Test the. Yep. If, remember, when your opponent leaves up three energy, yeah. don't go for the big draw. Exactly. But also, you know, they're you're if you're forcing them to have three energy up, that means they're playing a turn behind in a way. Of course. So they're literally, yeah, no, not to no. play defense, you're forcing them to do that. That's something that this deck does That's to people. Perfectly yeah. fine. And I think this is a great turn to just go, here's my Koitsukai. Start pressuring uh, the life total with what we have already established on board. Look, and there we go. We're going to Koitsukai. Average man stands saying KP better. It's close. I love King Piccolo. I love you, Seven Goku. Like they're so both much about close. That. Yeah. I think it's very close. Again. Yeah. It looks like Sylvan might be playing Raditz super combo, so that's why he might have aggressively wanted to go down in life. And here oh, we go. Here's, was he? here's the killer. That's interesting. So he hit him with the Kalitsukai, followed by the Broly Crown of Retribution. There's just yeah. no good answers here. This is basically. Let me look at that hand. Yep. Get the super, super combo out. Yeah. 
just to see what that what those three energy are for. Exactly. Yeah. Let me see. What, what are you planning with that? It's all information. Not so much. Yeah. I mean, taking a card is nice, but seeing what you got planning, like, yeah, you definitely you, the... you definitely want to gain the information here because if he's leaving up three energy, there's something planned for it, right? You know, butter music sure. or player. He would have used that energy either on his turn to apply more pressure or because right. he's, he's setting something up. So he's going to cooler counterplay. Okay. Warping two. Yeah, I guess. Well, the opponent will discard one. Also. But he still gets the auto. Oh, no, he doesn't no, get the it's auto. No, it's, it's on play. It's on play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think is here. Yeah. But it depends how many cards they have in hand. That's another big thing. So he said, I'd rather warp two cards than then, let you look at my hand. Yes. Yeah. That's I want to keep that energy up. Yeah, you don't know what I've got. <laughs> but now he's down to four cards in there. Wow. Oh, is it really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a problem. King Cold has that one surge of draw power. Uh, and yes. from there, if uh, the game kind of stalls out, it doesn't really maintain that same uh, card advantage because it's very reliant on playing a field spell, which Butters did not do last turn, I believe. Yeah. Um, or maybe he did. He's got three. Wait, 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 he's got three fields, right? Yeah. Well, he's yeah, he's got three, but I don't... Oh, yeah, he did. He did play yeah. a field because he free played the four-drop Frieza. Also, like, yeah. the hand may be four, but like I was, te- I was telling you earlier, like, his hand... Like, his combo is a lot bigger because of the field cards. Yeah, fair, fair. So it's not like... It's not as hopeless as it may seem. But no, it, it I don't does think look it's different. hopeless, but I think... Uh, he, he's in trouble here, for yeah. sure. Because now he's either going to lose his board uh, or some, something's going to go down. Because none of these battle cards have attacked. Right. And I wonder what Sublet's thinking about here. Is right. he thinking about counterplaying the cooler? Everybody on the chat right now, tell me who's going to win right now. I want to see it. I want to see it. Is it Red Goku? Is it Red Goku or King Cold? I want to see it right now. Okay. I will roast you, too, if you're wrong. I'm going to go back. Yeah. I'm going to go back and I will roast you. So... I... Sublet wins. Okay. Goku. Okay. Okay. I see Goku. See, y'all switching up because it's in the middle of the game. Yeah. He's yeah. a slight advantage. We should have done that at the beginning. We should have done like the little poll thing, right? <laughs> the spread is. <laughs> I'm going to start betting on this. Not looking. Have your cash apps ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The cash apps are not looking ready. <laughs> okay. So right. He still has his... what? One energy up? Okay. Yeah. But it's just so hard because mm-hmm. once you get Koitsukai, it just turns off so much of your... Most of your stuff in green, right. Yeah. Koitsukai is such a good card. I wonder how many he runs in his deck. If he runs four, I wouldn't even blame him. Like, it's such a good card. Four is a little excessive. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Run about two, <laughs> two three yeah. would be... Because it's going to go to the drop. Like, it's going to get exactly. milled. Or, or just mills. Worst case scenario, you'll combo it. Like You're basically a black deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, you know what I was about to say? It's like Vagex. Back in Vagex, I was manning like three, like, in my... Because right. it's so good. You're always going to have it. So you don't need to get too crazy with it. Yeah. But I think it's honestly, in my opinion, one of the most underrated cards in a game. Yeah. I know people know how powerful it is, but still, every time it comes down, it feels so good. I, I can definitely see that it's uh, underplayed. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But it's 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 such a powerful effect. That's why I, I really... hated playing against that thing. When Cell Surgeon yeah. did it to me, I was like, oh my I, God. I remember that. That is the most <laughs> emotional. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. But I remember, like, we were just talking about who's better, KP or or Goku, and I think KP is better. But I think there's a few more answers for KP. Not that it's not, you know, manageable, well, but I feel like BMS and I feel like KP Koi, yeah. doesn't have uh, what I like to call as much, like, if you wipe them, like, mm-hmm. if you take out their unison, take out their board state, yeah. and make them start from scratch every They'll turn, recover. they don't recover as well. They're more of a... Uh, oh, I mean KP? Say, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I think they yeah. over... They're they're massing. They're in a mass. Uh, you know they they want to amass resources on you. Right, right, right. And if they they fall behind in that race, I think it's much much harder for them to come back uh, than U uh, seven Goku. U seven Goku has that life to lean on. It has battle cards that are just a little bit tankier, higher cost, so they don't get secret identity right. that easily. Nineteen k bodies. Um, their battle cards effectively just clear your battle cards mm-hmm. giving a minus 10 minus 15 allowing you to just wipe their board over and over and over again and then just you know take out their unison like we're seeing here and then you just you know how do you how do you even come back right? and if they don't replace themselves they're gonna have really Look really good he effect. just took out his entire board oh yeah and he's still at four life his opponent has like four cards in hand it's just gonna be tough from here to for him to come back and he's just getting back a super combo. He's just yep. like, yeah, <laughs> just put the icing on the cake, right? 
Uh, the one thing that Tapping I think out comfortably. Yeah, I think I think one thing um, that they push the tempo with this leader, yeah. uh, U seven, just being able to uh, accumulate so many resources while having such a high life total yeah. Yeah. and applying this level of pressure is what really makes this my favorite deck um, because it's just like sometimes the snowball is just too real. It feels good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It feels good playing it. I see what you mean. And I think it's smart not to let them over realm as well because yeah. it would be a nutty deck if it could. Yeah, no, it would be too much. The more I think about it, the more like, thank God I can't play fighting against mm -hmm. Nate. Yeah, that right. That would be so nuts. It'd be a turn three deck at that point. Yeah. Well, it reminds me of old King Vegeta. Just all these one yeah. mana cards that just replace themselves or gain so much value and right. just apply pressure. And then into a great three drop unison just to really defend yourself against right. these mid range strategies. I think you, the deck just kind of does it all. And then to top it all off, we got boss monsters that exactly. we always yeah, have, yeah. right? <laughs> so I think uh, U7 is in a great spot. It's a great, probably the best deck coming out of this format. Um, not this format, I'm sorry, out of this, this recent, last one? recent set. Yeah. This recent set, yeah. for sure. Like Jesco said, until Invoker comes up. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's a whole other animal. <laughs> All right, we see whole, two super combos animal. here. I wonder what he's doing here. This is on his turn. He's getting aggressive. He's getting aggressive. You see that his opponent is tapped out. Probably he... wants to play the Golden Frieza. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe like some type of golden freeze over on turn, but why would he combo to I mean he's just his Super hand is combos, probably yeah, terrible. Yeah, weird. Yeah, his yeah, hand yeah. is terrible and he's looking for stuff. He's digging, yeah. And he's gonna make it I mean, yeah, I mean Sublet's just taking this attack. Uh he's at four life. I mean um, so what, it'll be double. Uh yeah. It is double, but I I don't think he can out combo here reasonably. No. This is uh coming in for 35, 45, 45 55. 55, yep, because of that field. Yeah. 55 double strike. Yeah, this is not. I'm good. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but it does it does seem like he doesn't have testing the opposition because as soon as your opponent slams yeah. that invasion, uh takes the life. You know they're right. trying to like they're trying to kill you this turn, so and you want to uh, testing the opposition this attack or after a major attack, so Maybe he doesn't have enough free defense we here. You can see something and... cute. Like, if he tries to fight, like he could fight against Fate, and he's sitting on a, on the counter counter SCR for green. That could be cool. True. Because that has to be a battle card, but that's just, like, wishful thinking. I think it's more the, the Frieza that you were talking about, most likely. Yeah. Oh, the dual attacker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Into the overall, right? Right. Okay, so he decides, all right, I'm taking that. Yeah, I'll do now it we, too. I don't think Sublet's still in danger because he has so many super Wait, 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 what is that? Is that the Golden Freezer? Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's, it's there pretty Golden Freezer. Uh, he has just so much combo power. Okay, so he out -com He has one card left in hand. So he's Sublet is forced to out-combo this attack. But, yeah, you know, we, we knew he had three or four super He's going to stand it up and then... Okay, I don't so know if he has a clone 35, together. 45. That gets you out. Okay. And, and this is where he keeps the negate, I'm guessing. At the house. He, he, yeah, he, so he stands up, removes something, takes a card two, out of his hand with the Frieza effect. He saw two additional cards. Who's got to be draw the it. Here it is. Yep. Wait, what? Okay. That's enough to outcombo that attack. He doesn't have fighting against fate. That was his all in. I think he's done for here. We're just going to see God mm. Rare. Got I God. think this one's a wrap, boys. Seems like the the red Let's U seven levers <laughs> win this time. Yeah, that's uh just gonna go for a game here. Uh he's gonna be able to give a triple strike, dual attack, all sorts of disgusting things. The leader's minus five. We don't even got a combo, he's just dead. Yeah. Let's go. He tested he he homicidal clones. Humbled. He's gonna counter. Give it minus fifty. <laughs> but he's looking at the camera. <laughs> but it's no. <laughs> clench the cheeks. No. Clench them. <laughs> I said clench the cheeks. <laughs> yeah, that that's is pretty game. disgusting. Yeah, that's awesome. Really cool game. Uh, obviously, you can see that he was holding the cocoon. Oh, yeah. He was expecting those eight drops. He drew it early, too. He drew the Vegeta. The Subla smelled something in the water. Yeah. Even that Kuwitsukai, making sure that his turn was as profitable oh, as yeah. possible. Oh, Maybe yeah, he doesn't sure. win that turn. 
but he was set up to win the following turn and just yeah, exactly. navigated that game uh, really, really well. So And Butters just couldn't Probably. catch up, unfortunately. He, yeah. he was trying to dig it's, for it's it. But, yeah. It's one of those formats where winning the die roll, I mean, as usual, yeah. is very, 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 very... Uh, but when your deck wants to do what it wants to do in a certain turn, but Goku doesn't care about that. Goku has like three turns where he can do what it wants to. No problem. It just so, never just... has a bad turn. Exactly. Right. right. That's, that, yeah. Exactly. Those are the just types of one. yeah. Those are the types of decks that that tend to succeed. Uh, that's it's just, true. Uh, yeah. Just you never uh, have to be overly afraid of what your opponent can do because you have that life total buffer. Yeah. So you can just kind of sit back, play your defense, and just force them to to def- to respect you rather than you respecting them. Right? Exactly. It's a very disrespect deck. I like. To oh yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I'm you seven. I'm ultra instant Goku. All right. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming in for you. Another one. J- I like Jiren as well. That's another red aggro deck that I think is being slept. I really like the Jiren. I like the Goku. I like that red aggro is up there. And yeah. I also like aggro as turn three nowadays. Not too. Yeah. Long. Coming off of a format where red didn't see much. To right. little, little, right. little to no play, yeah. very fringe. I think it was held back by hand destruction, um, and black Gogeta Zena against everything. Yeah, Gogeta Zena. Green, everything was hitting red. I and think I'm it had a decent them. matchup against yellow. Like for example, I think King Piccolo so, had a decent matchup against Icarus. Yes, that would but, probably be actually one of Icarus's hardest matchups. But um, what does your spread look like though? Too. Yeah, that's, that's the, the problem. problem with yellow. Like the spread was like. Its worst matchup was like sixty forty, like yeah. him, like and I was like, or at least fifty fifty. So I feel like Icarus is just like so great to pick up so oh, much value. It, it, it definitely considered the best deck of the last four man. Yeah, uh, but now I had to die. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel bad. I feel like I got it banned. No, you just, <laughs> it's on the. It was on the hit list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I felt like going into nationals, it wasn't. I, I wouldn't say underrepresented, but I would say like a little bit like under the radar. Yeah. Um, but uh, what? Well, I'm sorry. What? How, how do we get the face cam? Oh, the face cam, right? Yeah, the, the face cam here. Let me see the mug. Let me see how we're looking here. Let's go. Let's see our beautiful faces. Certainly. You have five men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you guys? <laughs> yeah, because we're like, no, like, I know that you're saying that you were great with Icarus, but you've been great with a lot of them. No, no, no. I'm, you, brought out King, you brought out King Vegeta. I'm saying maybe it died. Maybe it died for, for, for our sins, you know. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. We yeah. Overplayed he took the it. sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. He took the bullet. Yeah. For everybody, speaking of taking a bullet. No bullets. How many people in Miami this uh, just today, just this week, taking out their dragon bullets? I'm oh, glad you guys yeah. did. I'm glad you guys did. I don't think a lot of people switch their decks because of that. I, mean, I think they're just I'm taking gonna, out I'm the gonna, bullets out of their I'm deck. Gonna, I'm gonna just say that was a pretty disgusting ruling, and this would have not been a fun tournament to witness. Yeah, bullets flying everywhere. But yeah, but it's and, uh, a, <laughs> I like it. And, and hey, keeping the theme in Miami, bullets flying everywhere. You hate to see it. You want that around here. But look, like I, I feel like every, I saw a Mill player playing against a U7 Goku and a U7 Who? Goku. Oh, the Mill player. Uh, Kenny. Uh, Ken, where's he? Yeah, Kenny Hillsman right there. Vegeta Saiyan Army General playing U7 Goku, doing great, playing against Janemba. And yeah. I said, uh oh. It's winnable for sure. Yeah, striking while the iron's hot. <laughs> like the, the definition of that. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking to play against uh, Black Trunks and against U7 Goku. And I'm like, bro, you're here for the dub. He lost, though. Now you hate to see it. He actually did lose to Kenny. Kenny's like, I had two cards left on deck. And he's like, yeah, he's got zero cards left in life. You hate to see it. But yeah, no, it's fun. It's a blast seeing all these decks. Right now we have I like two... I think it's a very wide open meta. I mean, we've had a, yeah. just a variety of decks playing at the top tables here yeah. at the uh the feature tables and I think that we're going to see uh, uh the same diversity going into the taco. We haven't seen I think we're going to see a little bit more of a uh how do I say a convergence to a little bit more U7 Goku, a little yeah. bit more Sin Shenron, a little bit more Gogeta Zeno. I'm so sorry. There's butters walking yeah, by butters crying. Coming. Do you He's do you want to do you want to cry your tears on Bro, I'm so tour? sorry, bro. Hey, come through. Yeah. Slide through. Slide through the oh, stream real quick. Look at the Broly crown. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, Boy, we were a, looking at that. Like, Boy, it's a guy's a monster of a card. Dog, I'm, so a card. No, I'm so sorry. Monster of a I'm sorry, bro. It, it was, was I'm yeah, for five on dice rolls. Are you actually? Wow. Have, yeah. Uh, for turn two, I had double cooler. Oh to man. To counterplay his whole turn, but I was like, they just quits a guy that cannot do that. So, oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Quits a is just very yeah. brutal. As and soon as you leave up three energy, I'm so just like, good. it's gonna quits a yeah. so hard this turn. We were just yeah. seeing it. Yeah, that deck's busted. You know, I had to leave up mana for Kakunska because I literally just lost to any of the A drops. Yeah. At, at my yeah. Point yeah. Again. <laughs> just on, uh, it's a dash roll. It is, yeah, it is. I think if you had gone first, the game would have been a lot more difficult. Oh, yeah. I would have been able to turn two. I would have coolered both of his cards in turn two. Oh, yeah. If I was going to play a field turn two, I just, if I have two, I just leave both mana open, and it's already reduced because it's three. 
So he plays 17 at cooler, and he plays the Goku or Freeze. Yeah, he would have been on the back foot a lot more. Yeah, also, a lot of the threes that you're threatening with are leader and unison. Yeah. And if you go first, because I know he's playing the Jiren. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure when you saw the Jiren, you're like, okay, well, he's going he first. He play Jiren in the matchup. Exactly. You know, oh, he actually doesn't? Okay, he okay. Does, right. Like, he doesn't want to play against because I can evaporate unison. So okay, right. I can oh. Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. But, yeah. So that was good. That was good. That was sick. But, but you can get it like if you go first again, you're threatening not with battle cards, which is a yeah, lot of his play style. Yeah, he does. He doesn't have after image and testing the opposition, so yeah. he but, can't be he those tanky unisons yeah. can't be a problem. I want to go defense, then clap back, and uh, just going first. He knows quite guy turn one, it really sucks. But like, oh, that card, yeah. Well, then. I was happy he built two Jarens. I was like, ah, they're not you seven, but hey, let's go to see the secret rare. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'm yeah. trying to. I'm, I don't know. I don't know, boys. I, I may get one today. I, had to I, may, I still have my stimmy. I still have my <laughs> stimulus package from last year. You hate to see it. Subscribe I may be spending PPG. it. Yeah. He's been waiting for a good time. Yeah, I've been good waiting. Stuff. I've been sitting on it. Right. Good luck in the rest yeah. of it, man. But it's been fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having a ton of fun of you out here, guys. Uh, we're going to leave you guys right here um, and get ready for the next round. We're going to have round six, I believe, coming up. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and we'll see what we can get for you guys on stream. Let's go.